this glares at the main character. Hi. Um. テーカ、テーカ、テーカ、テーカ、タチとネブリが背の高いクロードアから出てきた時もまだ耳がチンチンしていた。When, when the minions and Nebri came out from the door, they come came out from the tall black door. My ear was still. Jean Jean is like a sound effect of kind of like stinging would be how I put it. Let's see how they put it. Um numbing and throbbing. Numb. Ears are still throbbing. Throb. Mm -hmm. And the mole particle just kind of mean as even well. when as yes. well. Even, even as when. well as when they came out. Right. It's some time passed, still... but his ears still doing it. あ、時も、はい。あ、ネブリの杖が磨き、えげられた石の床に当たってガツンガツンと音を立てる。うん。磨き上げられた。磨き。So relying on the when when the king when nobody was leaning on his cane as he walked. on the stone floor. What kind the of stone sound... floor is he walking on? The floor, the stone is Agerareta. Migi. Migaki a Migaki Ageru is to polish something. So we have areta, which is the passive form of that thing, to be polished. So we have a floor that is polished. Now the word walk is actually not in the sentence. We have atatte rather than arutu. Atatte means um, to hit against. So it says the tue is hit it against the yuka. The cane hits against the stone, the polished stone floor. Right. Whose cane? Nobody's cane. Right, right, right. So what does that cause? As you see, we have a form here, meaning an and in a soul-like way. You can see how atatte and perhaps the oto tateru might be somehow related. Right. Causing the sound. Kutsun, kutsun. Kutsun. Because if you didn't smack it into the floor, it'd be quite hard to make a katsun katsun sound if it was cane. Right. Yokata. Modote kite kurete. Um, I am thankful. Why do you think you're thankful? What happened? You came back. So, so. You came back. To me. Yep, he Pretty came bad. back. Perfect. And now he explains why he thought it was possible he wouldn't come back. He could no kimi to atta, 
Au. Au. Au is the verb. U is drop to go according to chat. Atta. 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 Atta mono wa. Which means to be Muchi. like Daijobu. Daijobu, hi. Muchi ni modore ru to wa kagira nai kara. You know what kagira nai means? Kagira nai. Kagira nai kara. Kagiru. Kagiru. Kagiru is to limit. What do you think kagiranai means then? Not limited to. Hi. So, so a mono that atad with higiri no kimi, they are not limited to buji ni no uh, no doreru. So, in a sense, he's saying somehow you escape. Good guess. The, and, you added the uh, word that's so only guess. So let's start with mono. What does mono mean? Mono is the it's, um, is this an abstract or a tangible thing? So I can't remember which. Um, I'm not sure which term would be most correct here. It is a pronoun, I believe, is uh, what it would be, which is mean using the term to refer to something else that is as like an idea, I suppose, but it's not an idea. This is mono is like person, like a non defined a person. person. So a person is tangible, but it's not like literally a necessarily a specific person. He's making a generic statement here about human beings, most likely. That atta with you get in a human people. I a person who met messen a person who met with the Lord of Twilight Hi. to come out to be unharmed and return yes. is that is Kagiranai. That is not limited. Yes. That is what it's saying. I can tell it's still kind of confusing you, but you do have it fully correct for how this means. So um, he's he's illustrating that the worst thing, like the the so like a limit, right? That's where you hit this, and then you're done. You're not going past this. So he's saying if you meet with the Lord of Twilight, it's not just going to necessarily end with you returning safely. It could end in other ways, such as but not limited to him killing you, him killing your family. Perhaps he might break your bones. Maybe he'll steal all your money. These are other options that could happen if you meet with the Lord of Twilight. So you're not limited to just returning home safely. Other things could possibly occur when you meet with the Lord of Twilight. What does this kata mean? Because, therefore. Yes. Therefore. This is related to the previous line. So this is why he's thanks. He's happy. Thank goodness you have returned because people that meet with the Lord of Twilight will not necessarily re return safely. Hi. Right. Not necessarily would be a proper term. For for this. Kigiranai. <laughs> Not necessarily. Not necessarily. An abstract limit. Mm -hmm. Um wa a sharp look. So so kirigoi. Tsurudoi. Me tsuki de oreo mikitaga. Nani mo iwa nakata. 
Nobody gave me a sharp look as he looked at me. However, he said nothing at all. Perfect. You have another and right here. Do you know what's marking this as an and? It's the dake de, comma. Specifically the de here. Because de is cat form, just like we saw earlier um, over here. But de is cat form for nouns. And dake is a noun that is being modified with um, oreo nirami tsuite, nirami tsuketa. That's like the grammatical thing of dake, which is the word but. So in a way, but in Japanese, it grammatically is a noun. But is a noun. So you, you don't need to think about that hard, but this is that you can't just say dake, comma. It's like that's not grammatical in Japanese. You have to add the de because it basically acts as a noun at the end of the sentence. You're describing the but. As <laughs> that. It's but you don't need to think about it too hard. If you're a noun, I'm just saying why there's a de here. Um, but it's not tool de, right. it's teflon de, which means and to some extent it can insinuate so, but not really here. Um but in a way, I guess it is so. Since if this is all he's doing, then he can't be doing that, right? There's a logic connection between the two actions of the sentence. Right. It's a here it's a not anymore. You want um, nobody needs to keep so that keep that let her touch you more. The minions that came back basically um to keep so is to accompany somebody like to um like kind of like the go with but it's more like babysitting what's the word they use for that uh to escort oh, to escort kita um, means it is cutting point ah, alright so he say that even the minions that came back with nobody and what do they do to me they need me to get that right. what is need me here hmm. is a word you definitely struggle with you don't know the picture and you won't you'll get it right Grin. Oh no, it's the, oh. the glare. Glare. And then you attach it. And uh, dake means only. I accidentally said because. I mean, but, which is. Nirami suketa. Dake. So even the minions who came back with Neburi right. only, or in other words, they do nothing but stare at me so, so. without saying a word. Nanimo iwanai. Right. All they did was stare at me, in other words, and didn't say anything. So you can see there's a logic connection that it, if all they did was stare, then obviously they're also not talking because all they did was glare at me. So they're not talking. Um, it's an approval, you know, between the two um, pauses. Tori Nagara Neburio Ote Yu Gure Ya Shiki O Atonista. We have another test form for and here with a logical connection between the two actions. Or what the Kiru Dake. Neto to 
You could have a duck is dead here if you wanted to, but I think it's super off. Well, I Kyori is um, something to do with leaving in this distance. context. Yeah, there's a distance. Kyori. So he's taking distance with who? Mm -hmm. So, so how much Ooh, distance uh, do you think he's taking from Bennett? The Kirudake. Only enough. Basically, yeah. Dekiru is how much he can do, so as much as possible. Only to the extent as that much... he could do it. Orewa dekiru dake. Only as much as possible. I've kept a distance with the net. While doing what? Torino. While while he follow nobody. He chases nobody. Now the next part, there is a logic between chasing nobody. This is kind of gonna cause the second action to occur. So if he follows nobody, what do you think is gonna to happen to the Yugure Yashiki? Yugure Yashiki o Atonista. I will after a while I will be there. That's a good guess. Yeah. So they were in Yugure Yashiki earlier. Nobody has just left the Yugure Yashiki and is now leaving the estate grounds. So ato has multiple meanings. It means after, and in some extent, it can mean behind. It's the same kanji as ushiro. Suru is to do, but nishita is a little bit different because it kind of means like to make something happen. So to make something be behind is what it's saying. To put behind you is what we could probably say in English. Um, here it says to leave behind. So because the main character is following or uh, chasing after nobody, who is leaving the Twilight Mansion, this causes the main character to also put the Twilight Mansion behind him. To leave behind Atonishita. Benetto to Hanasu Nebri no Koe no Shokyo Shokyo Kyosho. Koshi. Choshi. Tara Tsuruto. Higure no Kimi to no Hanashi Ai wa Umaku Ikanara Ikanakata Shirashi. Choshi in this specific context means tone, as in your tone of voice. Joshi, tone of voice. Karasiruto. Bennett speak with nobody in tone of voice. Who who do you think is the subject of this sentence? Because the subject's not directly marked, but who do you think is the subject of the sentence? Who's Choshi are we talking about? The Choshi coming from, um, what is it? Who is Hanasu? So, Bennett. Sadly, no. But, so, when you want Hanasu. to do things, you want to pay attention to what is describing what. Choshi is a noun and Koi is a noun. The noun has a noun, has no, telling us Choshi is described by Koi. Then we have another no right here. There are nobody pops up. Nobody's voices tone. Suru is uh Benetta to Hanatsu is also describing nobody. Hanasu is a talk and to is with. So 
Nevity's tone of voice when talking with Finette. And then Karato right. Sudu might be too hard for you. Um, basically, it means according to that in this context. Kara Suruto, according to that, Lord of Twilight and uh, had spoken with Lord of Twilight. I wa maku ikanatarashi. It seems that um, umaku wa in nakata. So it was not umaku, so it did not went well. Um, whose um, conversation did not go well with the Lord of Twilight? Iwa. What is Iwa in this? Oh, I. So this is Iwa. Hanashi Ao. Hanashi Ao. Hanashi. Hanashi Ao. So it's become Hanashi Ai. That's what, yes, the Ao for two people from puberty in a conversation. I is stem form, and a lot of times stem form is used as a noun. So this is just a conversation. So um, that's allowed to just put the wa here. So you can't really say au wa. That's disgusting. You say au no wa. And then the sentence would be grammatically correct, which is when it would be like that. When he was having that conversation with the net, it would not go. I mean, the Lord of Fire's name. So yeah, I is just basically the noun version of that verb. So in other words, when nobody was having a conversation with the Lord of Twilight, it didn't yeah. seem to went well. And why does he think this? Why does Khan think this? Mm, based on the tone of voice, Kara Suruto. Yes. So nobody is talking to Benet. And based on his tone, which is like rah, 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 the main character is like, mm, seems like the conversation he had with Crowley earlier did not go well. Sound grumpy. No, with who? With Lord of Twilight. Right. Such a thing. Without reason. Mm. Muri ni. Without reason. Kimatte iru no ni. Because it was decided to be. Kind of. So kimaru does mean to decide. It's used in a different way in this context, though. I think about it as the kami-sama decided version. You know what a kami-sama is? Lord. Uh, the, the, the god. god kind of lord. Kami-sama. Um, because kimateru is basically like saying, duh. It's uh, obvious. It's been decided by kami kind of idea rather than i decided this it's saying it like everybody should already know this if you like duh it's impossible to have a deal with like the lord of twilight there's no reason being for having a deal with twilight you want no meaning regrettably hi no need is kind of like regrettably but it doesn't necessarily feel like shimao, right? Shimao and shimatte is actually like sad emotions. No ni is closer to whininess, right? The word even though. Even though it's obvious that it's impossible to have a deal with the Lord of Twilight. It is kind of a thing. Hi. Um, Higure no kimi no sakara. Perfect. Remember what mono meant? That was a word we saw earlier today. 
Um, so the person that Sakarata. Yeah, Sakarata. That is to betray. Opposed to right. betray. The person who betrayed the Lord of Twilight. Right. Um, Tadoru Ume wa. Ume is destinies or fate. Mm. Todoru, Tadoru. This Todoru. Tadoru is the actual word that means to follow. You know how that might be different than Ote? Ote is to follow the person. Mm. Tadoru is to follow as in to be his underlings. So... Right? To follow in English has a very specific kind of connotation, which is different than otte. So tadoru can be used to follow somebody. It could also be like if I have like the letter A and I say, uh, follow the line, nazoru, actually. Um, but yeah, tadoru is to follow. Otte is to chase. For example, if you're playing tag, would you ever tell someone, oh, the play tag, you follow the person that you want to tag. Would you ever say that? Like if you're it, you're supposed to follow everybody else? No, like, we chase after them. So, so we chase after them. So ote ote chase. insinuates you need to have some speed going on here. Because the main Tadoru. character has tiny little legs. Um, so he has to run for nobody's uh, big legs. So Tadoru, this means to follow. So you have one Fate, you know, a person who betrays the or pilot has to follow. Sorry, I just spoiled the bottom part. Tada hibotsu. Only one. I see. Tada, only. As opposed to dake, which is only that action. Yeah, it's the onlys are really interesting because we use only in English for these, but they're pretty different. You could dake say hitotsu dake ga aru. But you have to like add extra um things for it. So I guess tada is an adjective. And dake, as I said, is a, like a noun. So it has different right. grammatical ways you use it. So you could say hitotsu dake ga aru. But you see, I have to add aru in there from tada hitotsu. Feels more um dramatic. Dake aru dake. Hi. So, um, Kutsari de Guru. Guru. Maki. Nisarete. Morio. Sukerare. Sukerare. Yoru. No kawa ni. Ya get komareru dake. Ya get, ya get komareru dake. Okay, so what is it saying? Um, right. saying so we here. have our first thing marked with kind of form, which is kusari de guru guru, which is um, a sound effect. So guru guru to, theoretically. Um, maki ni sarete. So this is a little bit of weird grammar, um, but it just means to do maku, um, which is to wrap something around somebody. What do you think is being wrapped around somebody? Um, maku, maku, okay, so it's a kusuri, kusari de, kusari is a change. Hi. Change. Using change, guru guru maki ni sarete. Sarete is causative, so to causative, so to do something. So he he wraps around maki ni guru guru is round and round. Hi. Like one round after that. Okay. Hi. Mori mori is layers like one on top of another or heavy. That's a good get. Uh, heavy oh, was closer. Stack. Omori um is weight. Weight, 
weight. Uh, like weights, like uh, five pounds. Five uh, but pounds. before that, I just want you to know this is passive form. Sarete comes from suru, to do. Passive would be saseru. But re is our marker for passive form. Sarete. So it's saying that the momo, the subject can drop, but the person will be wrapped up in chains. And those chains were going to, well, that person will have omori tsukirareta. So here, dareta is also passive. So it's the subject of the sentence is a mono ga takaraus, the higure no kimi. They only had one faith. That person would be wrapped up. So, um, mori o tsukerare is, I'm sorry, I kind of lost what you say there. Is to be heavy, is to be weighed down. It's like five pounds. A omori would be a five pound weight or a 10 pound weight or a 30 pound weight. It is a object that has pound grams, pounders, whatever added to it. Um, could be made out of lead or anything like that. It doesn't really matter what's made out of, but it is a weight. It is a physical object that weighs a lot that you add to things. Um, commonly, if you're working out, a weight will look kind of like this, like dumbbells, or a kind of weight, or those like round thingies that you add to a machine are also weights. But a weight is an object that their only use is to weigh a lot. Hi. Not some kind of pound of so, so it's a weighted object. So sumori. Um, yeah, it is from. Okay. So here, okay, so um to be weighed down and then yoru no so, kawa ni Do you know what tuku means? To attach. Yeah, so tuku is like to be attacked. To be attacked. To keru is actually to attack. So tuke, tukeru is the one that takes o, and tuku takes ga. So we see tuku a lot, but um, it theoretically is to be attacked rather than to attack. So that's why we have tuke rarere here rather than um, to ka deru, ka deru. Uh, so it is, so it says the first half here that the person that betrays the Lord of Twilight their one fate is would be having chains wrapped around them and then weight added to those chains and then one other thing is going to happen to that person. Yori no kawa ni yage um, no, what is it? No, Na no. Uh, nage, nage, nage komareru dake. Nage is to throw. Hi, and Nage. this is komu into. Nage komu, nage komareru. And then komu into. So then nage komareru is to be thrown. Hi, into what? Into at night only. The only outcome, okay. So, kangaeta dake de zotto suru. Zotto suru, meaning to tremble, to be horrified at such, to be horrified at the thought of. Perfect. Um. um right here, though. A better way of practicing it is to keep the de here, because de, remember, is an and. So it says, so with just thinking of it, right, kangairu, to think or ponder about it, and dake only. So with just thinking about it, that causes me, right? Just thinking about it, so it makes me zotosu, it makes me tremble. Um, so I see the de here versus 
we saw one without the doesn't really have that same and who's where was that duck it near the end of the sentence with duck it there's a lot of duck is um but yeah i'll stop recording